Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here, greetings boys, girls, and to all of our non-binary friends, and welcome to this, a brand new day. And remember, no matter who you are, you are valid. Thumbs up for that. And my box fan on the floor is on, because otherwise the air would be unmoving, and uh, that's such a terrible feeling. So my apologies for the noise. There has not been a lot going on in my life, but I have been playing a lot of Wobble Dogs. Still playing Wobble Dogs. It's a goofy, goofy game. The Wobble, the dogs, again, they have weird cylindrical bodies. They're squishy, and they've got two front legs and two back legs. They sort of work, and they bounce around and do weird stuff and when they're ready to pass into another stage of life they go into a cocoon until they alter themselves it's really bizarre really weird and I talked about how when my first wobble dog died I, I cried and I, I it still affected me that hard you can go in and change the gameplay options to turn off wobble dog death now the game says that they don't recommend it they've got a whole bunch of stuff that goes on in the game that is pretty much not dependent but it is it takes place at certain stages of life and one of those stages is death because death is just another stage of life and I have actually been keeping it on because you can easily just click, you turn off dog death. I've been keeping it on, even though every single time I get teary eyed. You know, literally, there's tears that form up, and sometimes one rolls down my cheek, but you know, I keep it on. I actually talked about how, boy, with my cosmic horror setting with the multiverse setting with leading down to this one universe setting the inside outside that has a cryptid part attached to it one of the cryptid things I talk about is how at some point in the future when they've colonized many many galaxies one of them talks about how their ancestors when they would achieved everything that the race had wanted they should have left. We finished it all. It's time to lay down, go to sleep, and not wake up. They had achieved everything. But they didn't. They worked on, you know, species immortality and achieved it. So there was, instead of a beginning, a middle, and an end, there was a beginning and that middle that just kept on going and when everything lasts forever everything loses its flavor nothing is special nothing it's all just gray stretched out thin everyone exhausted they don't have individual immortality just species immortality but it's just too much. Everyone can feel it. Nobody can do anything about it until finally someone gives them permission to go home, to lay down, and die. And they all do, voluntarily. Everything has a beginning, a middle, and an end. And without that end, the middle doesn't mean much. Now, I say that even entering into the end of the end of my life. Because if you go beginning, middle, end at 25 to 50 to 75, just generalities, a lot of people don't even make it to 40. But if you go with an average, 25, 50, 75, end of 75, gone. If the sun rises at 6.30, it sets at 6.30 p.m. and life is over. But within each stage is a beginning, a middle, and an end. Because the end of your 25th year is sure different from the beginning of your first. 
So you've got your beginning, your middle, and your end, and then the beginning is over. And then you got the beginning and the middle and the end of your middle, because yeah, when you hit 50, you're sure different from when you're 26, but it's still the middle. In the end, there's a beginning, a middle, and an end. And from about 65 onward, it is the end. You've entered the last phase. Things aren't going to go up anymore. I mean, again, not putting it to direct times. That's only just as metaphor and all. But it kind of fits if you go with an average of 72 to 74, which a lot of countries don't have, and it's dropping here in the U.S. But in just a couple of years, since I'm not even 62 yet, coming up next month, no, I'm edging closer to that beginning. <laughs> oh, God, I've forgotten how to speak English. I am edging closer to that end phase of the end. And I don't want to stop existing. Like all human beings, I have... Well, it, I think it's impossible. Just as we cannot really comprehend what infinity is... Neither can we truly understand what non-existence is. And I don't like the idea of non-existing. And I'd much, much rather reach the point of it's time for me to stop existing because I'm tired of it. I've reached the logical end of things. Instead of being cut short painfully by something, say. But yeah beginning, middle, and an end. And the beginning doesn't mean much if, yeah, the middle doesn't mean much if there is no end. That was one line from that, what, Pixar movies. I've only got the paraphrase, and I use it for everything because it's perfect. You know, if everything is special, everyone is special, then no one is special. It's like, yeah, if everything is special, if everything lasts forever, if everything is not going to stop, nothing matters anymore. So, I keep the wobble dog deaths on. Because the middle of their life doesn't mean anything at all if there is no end. It's sad. I cry. <laughs> and it's so stupid because they're just weird looking things and they do weird goofy things they'll have they'll have when they dig they dig up clumps of dirt and then you've got a clump of dirt that they can eat but you'll have one of them grab onto it and then start wandering away to maybe eat it where it's dragging it and another one will latch onto it so they're fighting over the dirt and then you can just grab them and it doesn't hurt to whip them around or slam them into stuff. So you, when you click on it, you can then start dragging them around. Ragdoll physics. The other one will be swinging around until the momentum whips it off or you smack it off on something. And then they'll, they'll maybe make a I'm momentarily stressed out symbol and then get up and start being happy again. So they are weird little animals and I have been breeding them to be every time they grow up and, and get to a new stage of life they get wider not necessarily taller at their cylinder just wider and I've been breeding them for that inside of the breeding for genes part of the game where you go in and start picking which dogs you want to crossbreed to get the trait you want and then you can keep crossbreeding until you get the dog you want i'm shooting for very wide dogs not tall just wide and then one of them had a different colored head so of course i had to keep that dog now there are some crazy dogs out there and you can share your wobble dogs apparently if you hit export dog it gives you a code and if you and you can import dog where you can highlight code from that someone else got as a dog 
and let me import that dog into your game based on that bunch of code there. Some people have bred weird freaking dogs. I watched this one Let's Play for a short while. I, I found the person doing abrasive, but he imported code for a wobble dog, and it had like all in the front of it, like nine heads all stuck coming out and different and you know pointed outward from the central area people breed for the weirdest stuff so thumbs up for that anyway that was just me talking about wobble dogs a lot one of the biggest reasons i've had problems about even thinking properly is i have a ton of pain related insomnia so if you lasted through the wobble dog stock to get to this thank you so very much it is appreciated I have had so much pain related insomnia. I wake up around 4. I go to bed around 12 and fall asleep around 1. So waking up at 4 from pain is not fun. And then going back to sleep, that's just a, a crap shoot. I don't know if that's going to work or not because if I'm awake enough and getting horizontal, my legs start to cramp. So this morning I had to get up out of bed bed. I can speak English, I promise, before my legs started to cramp. <sighs> so yeah, a lot of pain-related insomnia, and I am super duper tired, and I have periods of time where I am super time blind. I've had this happen this morning, and then another point where I was living through one second per second, which is rare. So I'm going, Row! Wow! And it's, uh, And then, of course, monitoring my blood pressure. So, I can't even remember what I was going to talk about. And there are things that I want to talk about looking over there to see if I can remind myself something that I think is pretty important, but I have forgotten entirely what it is, which is uh, ADD <sighs> for the win. Anyway, though. If you are a Patreon patron, thumbs up and thank you. It is appreciated. Your help brings me from here to here. And while this is still not fun, I'm a badly hurt monkey. It's so much better than down here. And especially if my rent does go up that hundred bucks, that really helps. Thumbs up and thank you. You are beautiful and awesome people. For everybody that leaves me a comment, thumbs up and thank you. And somebody mentioned in a comment that I really need to... Do Oh, I can English talk up my GoFundMe and maybe make a community post about it. So thank you people that leave me comments. You're smart. I've got issues. I need your help. Thank you so much. <laughs> Will I be able to actually do it? I don't know. I'm going to try. So what was up for that? But for everyone that does leave me comments, it is appreciated. I read every comment that YouTube shows me. I answer as many as I can. And with my nerve compression, that's not as many as I would like. Especially lately. Oh, boy. Just this size murder. Thumbs up for that. But you, too, are beautiful and awesome people. And if you have watched this far, I, I do have a GoFundMe, if you could check that out in the video description. I'm trying to save up and get a computer. I've really got to trim my sights down. I went to the Lenovo site. Oh my god, they're selling like $3,000 computers. I'm nowhere near that. I don't want that. I just want something nice that's not really expensive. So I still got to price something. But my self-imposed goal is just 1500 bucks. So I'm not shooting for a high-end machine. I just need something that'll play semi-modern games at least semi-well and be able to record and edit video. So I'm not trying to get a monster machine. So thumbs up for that. Anyway though, I'm at 15 minutes. This is really hurting. I can't remember a thing because I'm so tired. I have a horrible headache. So that's joyous too. And my blood pressure at 143 over 81. Oh, gets me worrying about my headache. Especially since I took, you know, pain relief medications earlier this morning and one of the things they say oh yeah with your blood pressure oh we only worry about things like if you have a headache that doesn't respond to pain medications oh I got a headache I took pain medications this came on after that but then my blood pressure is only 143 over 81 so 
Anyway, though, I'm going to edit, render, upload. Hopefully, you're going to get done the things that you want to get done. That would be cool. If not, don't beat yourself up. That does not do a thing to help you. So thumbs up for not beating yourself up. So, until we meet again, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. And that is it. Oh, boy. That is indeed a very good thing. Oh, ay, 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 ay. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> ah, you take care, and I will talk to you later. Oh, and if you could, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, that'd be awesome. Thumbs up, and thank you.